Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create pop-out sections with Divi's boxed layout. So this is the final design we're aiming to achieve in today's tutorial. So as you can see, this is a really cool design. So I'll be showing you step by step how I created this. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So all I've done here is I've come to pages and clicked on add new and I've named my page pop out. So next you want to come over here to use the Divi Builder and then we want to load our layout. So click on load layout. So this opens up our pre-made layout. So the layout we're going to use is all the way down here and it's called software and marketing. So I'm going to select it and then here we're given a few pages to choose from. So the page we're going to use for this tutorial is the landing page. So I'm going to select it click on use this layout okay so our layout has been uh, loaded now all i have to do is to click on update now let's take a look at our layout in the visual builder so i'm going to click on use visual builder and straight away we can see that our layout has been loaded but we have an additional section here at the top which we don't need so i'm going to go ahead and delete it excellent so now that we have our layout we need to move on to the next part which is to make our layout a boxed layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save this page and exit the Visual Builder. Right, so I'm going to come over here, click on Theme Customizer, and then I'm going to go to General Settings, Layout Settings, and then I'm going to make this a boxed layout. So notice that as soon as I enable the box layout, it changes the way my website looks, and this is exactly what we need. Next, we need to add some CSS code, which is going to enable us to do this design, which will show up the pop-outs. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back over here, a few steps, click on additional CSS, and then I'm going to paste my CSS code in here. Now, if you'd like to use the CSS code, I'll link to the post in the show notes below where you can get this CSS code. Right, so now that we have the code, we are going to go ahead now and click on publish. Okay, so now that this is published, we can now go to our main page and continue with our design. So I'm going to click on Enable the Visual Builder. So what you want to do is to think of which section you want to add this pop-out effect to. So in my case, I'm going to choose this one here. So I'm going to click on my section settings. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here and add our CSS class. So my CSS class is going to be pasted in here. It's called pop-out section. So you can see as soon as I've added my class, there's something happened here and the pop-out has happened. Excellent. So now let's go and customize that. So I'm going to come over here to design, sizing, and then I'm going to make this with about 120% like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this section because right now it's more or less leaning towards the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And then over here, I'm going to add a margin left of minus 10 percent like that so now i can see it's centered but of course we're on a white background so we can't really tell so let's go ahead and fix that by coming over here to the box shadow so i'm gonna click on box shadow click on my first example here so now you can see where this section is so all we have to do now is to increase the blur strength to about 60 like that so now that looks really really beautiful Okay, so that's all you need to do. So choose the sections that you want to add this effect to using the same steps. So I'm going to save this for now. Okay, so let's do this one more time. But this time, we're going to apply this effect to the rows. So I'm going to come over here. And this is the row we want to apply our effect to. So I'm going to click on my row settings. Click Advanced, CSS ID and Classes. I'm going to paste my class in here like that. And then I'm going to come back over here to my design. Click on Sizing. And we want to increase the width of our section. So I'm going to come over here to use custom width and then change my unit from, uh, from pixels to percentage. And then I'm going to make this about 120% like that. And again, we can see that it is more on the right side. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here on spacing and then we're going to add our margin left of minus 20%. In fact, we might need to use one uh, minus 10%. So now we can see that it's centered. So to add a bit more impact on this, what we want to do is to add 
some box shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my box shadow to this one right here in the, on the left and the one on the right because it's against this edge of our website. So I'm going to go ahead and save and then I'm going to come over here into our module settings, click on design and then I'm going to come over here to border. In fact, we're going to come over here to box shadow, select my box shadow, increase my blur strength to about 60 like that. So what we may want to do here as well is to adjust our color. So I'm going to come over here to the color and make it really stand out. Okay, so that looks much better. So to save me time to add all these again, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and then I'm going to copy the style and paste it over here to the right. Excellent. So that's looking much better. So you can see the blur is much stronger on the outer, on the outer testimonials. So there you have it. This is how you create pop-out sections using Divi's boxed layout. If you like this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we go live or we bring you new tutorials like this. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.